What are we going to do today, Brian? Well, you mow the grass, and I'll start working on the sprayer bike. Why do I always got to mow the yard? Why you play with the camera and act like a movie star? Well, you got the hat for it. <laughs> That's why I got that hat. It'll be all right, man. I'll meet you in the shop when you get done. Yeah, all right. Morning everybody, how y'all doing? <laughs> well, I just mowed the grass and then played fetch with the dogs, let them have their toys back down, you know. And uh, I said, okay, I gotta go start my day, you know, come out in the garage. And I come out and I shut the gate, so I saw it. And uh, <laughs> bam, they're out. So here they are, okay, they're at large. See him over there. Oh, they're having a big time. Come on, you guys. Time to come in. Come on. Come on. See, they don't listen. They disappeared. <laughs> They'll do that all day. Well, for a little while, then they'll finally come in. Anyway. Back to what's important. <laughs> I mean, they're important, don't get me wrong. But, you see what I got here? Yep, I went over to our local farm store. Because Walmart doesn't have these things in stock. You can order them and they'll be there with, you know, sites to store, sometimes within a day. But So I went over to the farm store. They said on their internet that they had one in stock that was 40 bucks. Well, I get there and they didn't actually have it. So we went to the other little, it's an Ace Hardware, it's called Pioneer. And they had this was on sale for 40 bucks. So let's get into it and have a look. Well, let's give this thing a proper introduction. It's a Porter cable, four and a half inch angle grinder, six amps. I don't know what the other one was. Anyway, I already unboxed it. And it looks like it's pretty neat. It came with the same standard plastic handle uh, and little removal tool, which I'm not sure what this little notch is for. It's probably a nut and bolt on there somewhere it's used for. But, and it comes with a uh, grinding disc, which is a nice way to get you started, and of course your instructions. But the unit itself looks pretty nice. It's got this on-off switch on the side. Here's your stop button for changing your blades. Yep. And look at this. A neat little feature. Um, for the guard, it has a quick release, so you can move it in whatever angle you want it. That's pretty neat. I usually take them off, but that's neat that that's like that. I mean, I should have it on there, but I always use those oversized blades and they don't fit. Anyway, that's just pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to try her out here in just a few minutes. Look at that. The uh, handle screws in at a little bit, instead of straight out, it's at an angle. Huh. And there's three holes for it. There's one over here, there's one over here. There's actually one straight up the top so you can hold it like that. Pretty nice. Let's give her. Sounds pretty good. Seems to work pretty good. Right, so I'm gonna see if that'll fit now. If I can remember where I put that bearing. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go more, but I don't want to go too far. Yep. 
Yeah, I need a little bit more. Anyway, that's the idea. That's what held me up yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to work on that and I'll get back to you.